Welcome to the Empowered Mind Podcast with Joelle and Natalie Rivera. We are on a never-ending quest to master the power of our mind, develop a growth mindset, and explore the leading edge of positive psychology and human potential so we can take radical personal responsibility for creating our destinies and reaching our potential. So we're here to tell you that motivation is BS. And that has double meaning. So it's BS in the way that you thought, but it's also BS because it stands for belief system, meaning that what we all tend to think about motivation being is actually wrong. And so we're here to clear that up so that you're no longer stuck feeling like you're not motivated to do what you want. Yeah. And if you really think about what motivation means, like most people have an assumption that you just feel like you want to do it. You're like, empowered, you're ready to go, and you should always feel that way. But really, if you look at the meaning of motivation, it starts with motive. It starts with having a big enough reason why you want to achieve something. So most people miss that part when it comes to motivation. So when they don't feel like it, they wait for that feeling that's going to drive them to actually want to do something. But if they wait for that feeling, it never happens. And so we're here to tell you that motivation is not a feeling. So you don't want to be waiting around until you feel like doing something because especially if what you're trying to do is challenging or difficult for some reason, you might never feel like it. So you can't wait to feel motivated. So what do you do? Well, if there's something that you want to do and you're feeling like, oh, you just don't have the motivation to do it, then you need to ask yourself, why are you doing it? What is the reason? And is the reason big enough to make you push past whatever hurdles you have? Because if you're not feeling motivated, chances are you're either trying to do something you don't actually want to do, or you're not looking at the bigger picture of why it's important, or you could be doing something that someone else wants you to do and you don't want to do, or maybe even having some sort of resistance that's coming up. So if you're not feeling motivated, you want to ask yourself two questions. One is, why do I want to do this? And two is, what is it that is stopping me? What thoughts or feelings are going on that are making me not want to move forward? And to be real, any change that you commit in your life, if you're trying to reach a goal, if you're trying to do something that's going to change, even the small changing aspects of your life, your personality, your identity, uh, and the way that you live, it creates fear. And we all have that fear of change. So when we have that fear of change and uncertainty of what's going to happen, what do we do? We procrastinate, we feel demotivated, we make up excuses. Uh, well, I can't do that now because, or, or but this, or but that. So realistically, it really comes down to having that why I'm doing this. So when that resistance comes through, you can push that past that resistance because you have that big enough reason that's going to drive you to do that. Also, you should have a plan. You know, what steps are you actually going to take? What are you going to do to get you jump started? You know, I have some songs that I put on and, or maybe I have some baby steps that I take because I know once I get started, I'll get in the groove. I feel good about it and it'll motivate me to keep going. But you have to have a plan and strategy in place to get you from, okay, this is what I want to do to actually doing it. Okay. So let's recap here. First of all, you need to know why you're doing something. That is the motive that causes the motivation. And you're going to have to want it bad enough in order to push through those things that tend to get in the way. And then the second part is you have to have a plan. So again, you're not going to wait until the moment that it happens to see, oh, if I happen to be motivated. If there's something that you want to do in your life, you can't wait until that moment. You have to plan it in advance. So first of all, you have to set a goal that has a big enough reason why you want it. And then you have to make that goal achievable. And what makes a goal achievable is that you have some idea of how you're going to get there. And it doesn't mean you have to have everything all figured out because that actually is something that leads to a lack of motivation is being overwhelmed. But you do need to know what steps are you going to need to take. And the more that you can take that goal and break it down into steps and create an actual plan where you say, I'm going to do this tomorrow. And next week I'm scheduling an appointment for that. Then instead of those moments where you say, geez, I should really work on this, but I'm just not feeling motivated. Instead, you have it on your calendar. And so you're not waiting around to feel like it. You're taking the action because you already committed to yourself previously exactly what you were going to do. And one of the things that I like to do is that I like to have visual cues on my plans to remind me. So whether it's opening the computer and having something on my computer, a reminder on my phone, uh, something in the mirror, so when I shave in the morning or something like that, something that's going to serve as a reminder for me. 
And also part of my commitment is also commitment to other people. Meaning sometimes I tell people, people that obviously are going to encourage you, that are going to support you, and they're going to ask you how it's going. You know, I tell them about some of the things that I'm working on, some of the things that I'm doing. Because without them knowing, they're my accountability partner. Because once I talk to them, they're going to reinforce that. They're going to ask me, hey, Joel, did you, how's this going? And they're going to say, oh, yeah, I did say I was going to do that. So I got to work on it. Or I'm going to talk to this person. I know I have to work on it because they're going to ask me about it. So it's just making sure that you have different ways to committing to yourself and, and really having that why answered is the main part that's going to help you have commitment in the long term anyway. So, and so we work with people all the time and we've done it for years, whether it's our own clients or our students or the coaches that we train about how to achieve your goals and how to stay motivated. And so obviously there's a lot to it. We spend hours and hours working with somebody trying to help them to get clear on their goals. But the one thing that we want you to take away from this is that the difference between you not achieving your goals or not being motivated and the person that is achieving their goals and is motivated has nothing to do with how they feel. It has everything to do with, again, two things. One is knowing exactly why they're doing it and wanting it bad enough. And then two being having a concrete plan. So if you're wondering why you're never motivated and you don't reach your end goal, it's probably because you don't know why you're doing it and you don't have a plan. So always remember, if you want to be motivated, do those two things and you'll find that you'll be a lot more successful achieving your goals. Thank you. So what's your big why? Thank you, fellow Freedom Junkies for listening. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to help us grow, please rate and share this podcast. You can also become a member of Freedom Nation. Visit freedomorbustpodcast.com and sign up to receive access to exclusive content and take the 21-day happiness challenge. As you know, we believe that entrepreneurship is the ultimate form of empowerment, which is why we created the Side Hustle Business Startup Course for anyone looking to create their own income and take back their power. We offer an exclusive discount for our podcast listeners. Find out more at freedomorbustpodcast.com dot com.